Hello everybody and welcome to the Coach Oak Show on Coach Oak TV. You are here with the head coach of your Iki Town and Cineroar, Coach Oak himself. We are here for week 6 of PEBA Season 4. You're asking, where's the first 5 weeks of that? Where's the first 3 seasons of that? Didn't happen for me. I mean, it happened, just not for me. It existed in the same plane as I do, but you know. Um, so we are taking over as a replacement coach. Literally, it was about two hours before this. Um, so this is not my team. There will be switches. Um, I'll be making some free agencies because a lot of the team is not mons I particularly love using. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. It's not that it's a bad team or anything. But uh, So we're coming in at 1-4, and four, I believe. Um, something like that. Um, Mega Latios is top. It was third on the kill leader board um, before this week. So... Hopefully we can try and keep it there. We might even keep it on the team just for that purpose. We will have to see. I haven't made any decisions on what to do yet. Um, we just kind of prep for the battle. Um, there's a big time zone difference here between me and the one who's our opponent. So while we were both on, it just made sense to get her done. So we got her done. Um, so he has brought a Bolton, a Moltres, a Mega Beedrill, a Hadragon, a Seismitoad, and a Mew. The important things he left behind is his Dynamax Octillery and... As a Romatisse, which if he trick roomed and got um, Octillery into trick room, I kind of just lost based on the team I brought. So that was, you know, a little bit scary. Um, we also had a um, Reggie Steel and a Terrakion, which I put a fair amount of contingencies on the board for. So we have a Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, and Recover uh, Megalatios. We have a. Um, we have a Gumshoes, which is Dynamax Able. Um, it, uh, it is Thrash um, for the higher base power. I believe it has Facade. No, nope, didn't have Facade in the end. Iron Head, um, Revenge, and. Oh, wait. Nope, that's his team. Um, and. Earthquake. That was the other Gumshoes move. Uh, this is a Scarf and Furnape. It has Edgequake. And it has close combat and has U-turn. Um, we have Rabombi, who is Quiver Dance with Sash, three attacks, uh, dual stab, moon blast, and energy uh, moon blast, bug buzz, and energy ball. We have a defensive Klygar, which is a um, earthquake, defog, roost, U-turn variant. And we have a Resto Chesto, Spadef Diancy, um, Diamond Storm, Moon Blast, um, Rest, as I said, and Stealth Rocks. Um, so, negative speed nature. Um, so, yeah, we lead off with the Infernape, just because it's Scarf. I know a, his only faster thing on his team um, is Bolton and um, Beedrill. Um, I didn't actually expect Bolton to come, so I was expecting this to be I was feeding everything guaranteed. Um, Bolton did come. It is what it is. Um, so, we have... Um, so we outspeed Moltres for sure, even if it's Scarf, etc. Hydragon, even if it's Scarf, etc., etc. Um, and we would have speed tied even a Scarf Track. Um, so that is why we're going to lead it. You can just U-turn on things we don't want to be in on. And if it's something we do want to be in on, we can click a move. Um, so I see Firebird, and I see Rock Button. And we click Rock Button. It lives. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't count it. I was just like, four times super effective button, click. Um, so we take the Toxic, which isn't the biggest deal. I would love to U-turn here. I don't want to just let him go into Toad. So I go into Laddie. I really wanted to call this and go into Raibombi. But going into Raibombi on a Moltres, if he decides just to let the Moltres die, is not a good idea. So I went into uh, Laddie as kind of a mid-ground play. Um, so we see the Toad. I expect Rocks. So I go into Raibombi. I, I want it in before Rocks get up for his Sash. It goes into Mew. I'm okay with this. Uh, I believe I Quiver Dance. Probably should have bug buzzed, um, but yeah. If if he didn't switch Beedrill in hard, um, and he tried to put up Stealth Rocks or something and got greedy with the Quiver Dance, um, like Beedrill theoretically can't switch in on two, like it can't take the second one. So that's kind of why I Quiver Dance, but I probably should have got some chip. Um, but again, I'm in hindsight mode now. Obviously, you know me, I'm better and just. You know, it makes more sense when I say it in the live comm. Afterwards, I can pick myself to pieces like nobody's business because literally a coach, but it is what it is. Um, tch -tch -tch. So, obviously, this is our switch in because Beedrill can't really hurt this. I mean, we're even immunities. We can't take extra poisons off that. Uh, I believe we U-turn here. 
Uh, just get the slow U-turn. They go into Moltres. I actually wasn't sure if this would kill. <laughs> Which is so sad, but I have no attack investment. And it's four times resistance, and I thought it was max max. It turned out it wasn't quite max max. Even max max, I would just kill it barely. But uh, So again, we go Infernape. Same idea. Um, to, I expect him to go Toad, but I, uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, I believe here I do just go be expecting the rocks, which I believe do happen here. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So, I really want to click Energy Ball here. I do. I really do. But, I mean, he could be Rindo. Um, I'm pretty sure by the U-turn that he's defensive. So, you know. <laughs> but the switch into B is right there. Last time I Quiver Dance, he went into B. I went right back out. So, I was, I was, I made the read. I really wanted to click the Energy Ball. I tried not to overplay like I do so often. Um, but he does stay in, uh, so we should have just clicked the energy ball, but it's okay. Um, it is what it is, so he's going to sludge bomb on this, which is not ideal. Uh, it, it only does 9, but just we don't want this in, but right now we would lose so much momentum. Switching into Toad is hard for my team. Uh, like, Bombi does, but Bombi doesn't want to lose its Sash. Especially doesn't want to take the rocks. Um, so we know how much he's doing. I end up just defogging the rocks. It's a risky play. Um, I most worlds I live that, but I like barely. Um, and then the idea was I could potentially roost up later or something. But I, it's one of those where I knew I was probably going down. A it could crit, which it did. Um, a high roll, I believe, would have just got there. I I might have been just short. I'm not sure because he low rolled the first one. Um, I think he could do up to 51 actually. So I think because he low rolled the first one. Um, and then, um, or if he gets the burn, right? I'm going down. So we defog there, kind of knowing it's going down, which I really kind of need the Glycar, but you know, we lost momentum with trying to read the B coming in. We tried to take momentum and we lost it a little bit. Um, so we go over Bumpy and we just energy ball, which just drops, which is great. That's good because I am modest. Um, B, just the way the speed tiers worked out, I could be, um, modest B and it would be the Tracheon. Um, I, I wasn't, again, not that I didn't respect the Bolt on. But, like, I had so much ground coverage that I knew I could kind of deal with the Bolton. So I was I was willing to go for the Modest there um, and give up outspeeding Bolton. Which, you know, not that's not an idea. We end up having to sack something because Gligar's down and nothing switch ins to a Petro Poison Jab. Uh, like, I have things I could live it, including the Gumshoes, but... Uh, Nothing took two, so that is what it is. Uh, sorry, Gumshoes. It's probably your only time, and I'm just going to Dynamax you to watch you die. <laughs> um, so I believe we just U-turn. Yeah, so we just try to chip down the Beedrill um, a little bit. If he goes in the Mew, that's great. Bandit, he's pretty defensive, which isn't ideal. I was hoping he wasn't, to be honest. I was really hoping it was an offensive Mew. Um, when I saw the Moltres was defensive, I was kind of expecting it to be an offensive Mew. But it is what it is. So we go to Laddie, because I figure I can get a Dragon Dance up here fairly clean. Um, he can hurt me, but he can't, like, wreck my soul. He goes for the U-turn, which is not ideal. Does a little bit too much damage. He goes Bolt on, so right here, I know he's, he's either Sash or he's Scarf. I haven't had a chance to get up my rocks, which is unfortunate. Uh, if he's Scarf, he can't... Um... Oh yeah, Crunch. I miscalked it, actually. I thought if he was Scarf, he couldn't kill me. Um, but I forgot about Crunch, because I don't know what Bolton does. I was calculating Ice Fang. Um, so yeah, Crunch is the thing. So actually, he would have been he would have killed me with Scarf. But I was kind of like... I was kind of just like hoping he was Scarf and thinking I would live. So that was also a mistake. But uh, it is what it is. This isn't really my normal time to battle. I'm a bit tired. A bit loopy. In a weird mood. You know, it's one of those days. You can kind of tell a little bit. I was even worse during the battle. Uh, so he takes me out with Crunch after I bring him down to a Sash. Um... Could I have gone into other things here? Yes, but also Dancy kind of eats versus Bolton. Um, he would have lived a flash cannon from Hydreigon. I, actually, I didn't look closely. Yeah, Scarf Dragon. Yeah, I would have lived a flash cannon. So in hindsight, probably should have waited, kill this. But I wanted to get the rocks up, and this felt somewhat free, depending on what he went into. I thought I might be able to. Like, he might switch to um, into Mew. Was kind of my thought process. Um, so if, if he switched here, uh, getting the rocks with the full health dance, he would have been massive. So they make the right play and just uh, go for that Thunderfang. And we do put up our rocks. So, you know, the basic idea, 
if I can get the, the Beedrill to come in twice on rocks, I think I, I'm in a great spot. Um, I know that's going to be extremely difficult, and it is what it is, but um, I was half tempted to resto Chesto there, I'm not going to lie, but we went for Diamond Storm. Um, I don't know if there was a... There may have been a better play there, but we took it out. Um, go in here. I go. I know we kind of has to kill with Flash again, so I can go in with Infernape. Um, and be and catch momentum or whatever. Um, I just U turn. I didn't want to just CC. I probably should have in hindsight. Um, in hindsight, story twenty, but. Because if I CC and he goes Mew, which is kind of what I was expecting, because Mew takes the U-turn so well, um, I lose a lot. And I know if I U-turn and he stays in, I can just sack to Ancy. And he makes my play, he sticks in Flash Cannon. Uh, I didn't know at the time he was Scarf. I wasn't. I kind of thought he might be, but if he was Scarf, I expect him to switch out. So, you know, he Flash Cannon, sticks to Ancy, which is fine. Like, I wasn't tr really trying to read a Draco or anything there. I was kind of just expecting to die. But, uh, but it is what it is. I mean... If he had gone for Draco, obviously I steal a lot of momentum, but, uh, what do you have? Do you have U-turn? No, you have four attacks. Okay. Uh, so we go to Infernape. I kill with U-turn here. Um, arguably should have done something else, but, yeah, I, I think at this point we were, di we, we had lost anyways, but, uh, so we get the kill. Um, thought process is he has to go Beedrill now, take the rocks. I was, yeah... Basically, if I, and I was kind of figuring this out a turn too late, if I Quiver Dance here and I get a high roll crit, Moonblast can take it out, which is not a real really a win con you want, but if I do, I, I just win, um, which, but also we have to not get the 30% poison, so I need a lot of luck at this point. Um, it is what it is, We so we go for it, we don't get it, which is fine, I mean it is, it is, I've said that way too much this video, I am so sorry. But it is what it is. I might just... That might be the title at this point, because I've oversaid that so much. I'm, I'm tired. Not, like, overtired, but I'm tired. Um, U-turn. It does not kill. Uh, so the thought process here... I think even a high roll crit wouldn't have killed Mew, um, based on what I thought he was, but I thought he could have been a little less defensive than that if I had low rolled before. Um, which turns out he was. So, because I was thinking he was max max on the defensive side. But it turns out he was more spadef. Uh, was he bold? Uh, bold, yeah. So he was bold, but... So I think a Hyrule crit, there might have been, like, just enough to get him. Um, I thought this would kill. Um, I was doing his bulk, and I thought it killed every time. I knew he would have bulk in this, because of the way the speed, but I figured he was outspeeding um, Jolly Red Bombi, um, which would let him go adamant. So I'm guessing he stayed jolly, which I can see this. Oh yeah, I have his team. Let's go play close on this. Yeah, so he stayed jolly. Oh no, how did he live that? I still had crit on. <laughs> I did that after. Whoops. Okay. Yep, that was stupid. I'm realizing it now. Um, yeah. So you know, we made mistakes, but really we were just giving away a differential point. Um, we could have just uh, EQ'd or stone edged or. Stone Edge has the higher crit chance, but uh, Crit Stone Edge definitely wasn't killing the Mew, so. Even with the rocks and whatnot, so. We are going to go down to the Poison Jab, and we go down to Mega B. His team is really good, I'm not going to lie. So, and I've, you know, was prepping with Mons I don't use uh, battle I wasn't expecting to have, and he, he's got a good team, so. Uh, you know, and it's a good player, so it is what it is. I said it again. I have descended into it is what it is madness. Oh no. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we go down to Mega B. What? I love Mega B, guys. This reminded me how much I love Mega B. Um, yeah. So I don't know what changes I'll make to the team, but we'll make changes and we'll have a few more weeks. We're one in five now. Our chances of making a comeback to make playoffs are slim. Every time you're a replacement coach, that is how it goes. I tend not to make much changes, but I just know this team isn't gonna work for me very well. As well as like. I don't need Tangle and Amoongus. I'm sure there was reasonings, but they feel like they do extremely similar things to me. So I'll have to look at the points. Maybe Tangle is just the best mod for the points there. I don't know, but uh, I'll probably keep only one of those two, depending on how things will work out. Some mods that I just, I probably will go a different way for my Dynamax. Gumshoes isn't bad because it hits hard, but uh, I don't even think I have a Trick Rumor on this team besides like super fast mods, so. 
Mega Laddie I'll probably try to keep since it is high on the kill leader list. It has 9 kills so far. Uh, since it, it's 0 1 this battle, I think it's 9 and 5, which doesn't sound that good, but it was 3rd. It'll probably drop. Um, and be like 6th or 7th or something after this week. I don't know. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can do some things. I think if I drop some of these mons, some people are in my front office will be annoyed with me. If I drop Ride Bombie, some mommy's gonna be annoyed, so we might have to keep it, but uh, we shall see how it goes. Have a nice day, everybody. I've rambled on too long, but it is what it is. <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. Have a nice day, everybody, because Coach Oak said so, and I will see you all next time.